CNC wire stripping machine powered by Arduino. Most people involved in the recycling business know what stripping machines look like. The key elements of its mechanism are a free rotating disc, a cutter, made of hardened steel and a V-grooved roller. When a wire goes through the gap between the disc cutter and roller, its insulation gets a longitudinal grove, thus allowing easy manual separation. Usually a roller gets cranked via worm reducer powered by a single-phase AC motor. This almost widely spread design has a few disadvantages. Excessive weight, size and noise of the gear motor assembly. A starting motion without acceleration, meaning jerking. The inability to reverse or smoothly vary speed in a wide range. Unstable wire separation process due to unavoidable transmission backlash causing wobbling. The inability to operate in a remote location where a power outlet is not available. All these problems can be easily solved if we drive the input shaft directly by a stepper motor, instead of a worm reducer and AC motor combination. In our stripping machine we use a standard NEMA 34 stepper motor linked with the input shaft via popular flexible coupler D30L42. This coupler consists of separable parts which allows creation of desired diameter combinations. Stepper motor drive unit. There are dozens of various drives available on the market, so choosing the best drive for your application can cause confusion. We have a few favorite drives which we use in our machines. For a primitive machine like the wire stripper, the most practical would be the least expensive 4A drive, around $8. Its advantages, low cost, small size, low heat dissipation, therefore no fan needed. The drive could be powered by a wide range of voltages, from 9 volt DC to 42 volt DC plus built-in protection against overcurrent and overheating. CNC Controller Our own CNC controller is based on the microprocessor at Mega 328. The control board has two standard DB25 ports for connecting the wires via soldering. The built-in voltage regulator allows a wide range of input voltages, from 5V DC to 35V DC. Those who don't have access to our controller could use instead the widely available Arduino Nano with the appropriate screw terminal adapter. Note that this Nano doesn't have an onboard voltage regulator, so you'd have to take care of that. Or use the Arduino Uno with a built-in voltage regulator, although the board is twice as big in size. Power Supply as we mentioned in our previous videos, we use classic transformers instead of the switching power supply units. That eliminates a possible resonance effect due to the common pulse nature of the stepper motor and power unit. The AC output from the transformer gets converted to 20 volt DC through the rectifier bridge, while a 500 microfarad capacitor does the rough smoothing of the pulses. A separate voltage regulator takes care of the fine voltage calibration. Software We develop our own software from scratch, trying to avoid using libraries and other third-party products. This not only gives us freedom of design options but also allows for the implementation of the modular software structure. Besides that our flowchart non-conventional philosophy makes the microcontroller operation much more efficient. We are considering providing the particular stripper software for free, although it is not clear yet how to actually facilitate this process. Please share your expertise via your comments regarding this issue. Adding a foot pedal. Obviously in the recycling business the used wires are bent and stripping them of insulation requires preliminary manual straightening. Even after extensive effort they are imperfect which causes the wire to shift from side to side while being fed into the machine. The operator has to direct the wire with one hand while his other hand is busy controlling speed and back slash forward direction, so the activation of the motion via foot pedal becomes very helpful. Our controller allows for operation with or without a foot pedal. Just plug in the foot pedal connector and the machine will automatically switch to the appropriate mode of operation. 
The main goal of this video is to help talented people all over the world to build their own CNC machines. We'll gladly provide our software as well as advice for free. Just visit our website highlighted in the description to this video.